so till now we have understood about rsa and ergamal crypto system although those crypto system are secure but their security comes with a price elliptica cryptography is an another asymmetric key cryptography or public key cryptography which provides equal security with smaller key size if we compare elliptica cryptography with other uh, cryptography like rsa or any other non elliptica cryptography then we can easily see that elliptic curve cryptography achieves the same level of security with smaller key size and this is very important topic so let's move on to the next slide so here as you can see elliptic curves over real numbers so this is not directly related to ellipse but the but this equation is similar to the equation which is used to calculate the length of the curve in the circumference of an ellipse so the general equation for an ellipse curve is <clears throat> y square plus b1 xy plus b2y equal to x cube plus a1 x square plus a2 x plus a cube so elliptic curves over real numbers uses some kind of special class and those equation would be y square plus x cube plus x plus b okay so here as you can see from the above equation if 4a cube plus 27b square not equal to 0 then the equation is called non singular elliptic curve equation okay and if it is equal to 0 then it is called singular elliptic curve equation and uh, in non singular elliptic curve equation this equation has three distinct root but in case of non in case of singular uh, uh, elliptic curve equation this equation does not have three distinct roots okay and uh, let's move on to the next slide so here as you can see if we plot x versus y graph in a graph paper then the graph will be like this as you can see actually researchers are interested in three real roots because a horizontal line can intercept the curve into three points if all the roots are real so as you can see from this example so here y square equal to x cube minus 4x and y square equal to x cube minus 1 so both are the non singular elliptic curve equation so but here as you can see the first graph will give the three real roots and the second graph has the one real and two imaginary roots okay so this curve is actually symmetric about horizontal axis the curve above x axis and below x axis will be symmetric okay so let's move on to the next slide okay so elliptic curves over galois field p so now galois field p actually the values lies between 0 to p minus 1 here okay so here as you can see finding points on the curve okay let's uh, know about how we can find the points in a electric curve so here as you can see the algorithm electric curve points here the parameters are um, p p is basically p is the modulus a and b are the coefficient this is actually uh, coming from this equation uh, y square equal to x cube plus x plus b a and b are the coefficient okay so uh, by taking this as a parameter so here as you can see so the values of uh, <coughs> so the uh, here uh, we initialize the values of x equal to 0 first okay and while x less than p okay this is a while loop so here x value is lies between 0 to p minus 1 okay and similarly y value is also lies between 0 to p minus 1 so here from the equation as you can see x cube plus x plus b equal to a uh, mod p equal to w okay if w is a perfect square in z p output will be x root over w and x minus root over w okay these are the two points so first one is the point elliptic curve points and second is the uh, additive inverse of that points 
so here uh, we know that the equation y square equal to x cube plus x plus b so from that equation we can find the value of y y equal to root over x cube plus x plus b so the y point here is equal to root over w so w equal to this okay <clears throat> and uh, first uh, x x value is uh, lies between 0 to p minus 1 so uh, the loop is conti uh, continues until the values of x greater than p okay so here this is the example of uh, that uh, that algorithm so here you can as you can see y square equal to x cube plus uh, x plus 1 here the calculation is done modulo p uh, modulo 13 so here value of p is 13 so points on the electric curves over Galois field p so uh, p is value uh, Galois field p is lies between 0 to p minus 1 that is 0 to 12 okay so here as you can see our uh, first uh, first electric curve points is 0 and 1 so its additive inverse is 0 12 because uh, additive inverse of uh, 0 and 1 is uh, p minus 1 that is 13 minus 1 12 mod 13 which will be 12 so this is the additive inverse of 1 is 12 0 12 is the coordinates of edit additive inverse of this coordinates and this is uh, calculation is done under modulo 13 okay similarly we can calculate all the numbers here all the points so as you can see last point 12 5 so uh, 12 and 5 here so additive inverse of 5 is uh, uh, 8 not 18 actually it is 8 so these are the graph of this all the points of the electric curves so just now we have discussed about finding the points on the elliptic curve so here as you can see three adding cases are equal to p plus q r equal to p plus p and o equal to p plus additive inverse of p okay so now we'll discuss how we can add two points p and q so here as you can see the two points p and q let's assume the coordinates of p x1 and y1 and coordinates of q is x2 and y2 now we need to calculate the points r which is equal to p plus q so from the graph if we draw one line connecting to p and q and extend it then it will intercept a one more point that is a third point okay which is minus r and if i find the other points by taking its reflection about horizontal line then this point is referred to r point which is equal to p plus q now how do you find the points r here so we have an expression okay so in the next slide as you can see let's assume the r points has the coordinates x3 and y3 and p points has x1 and y1 coordinates and q point has x2 and y2 coordinates okay so now we need to find the coordinates x3 and y3 so here slope lambda equal to between uh, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 and uh, x3 equal to lambda square minus x1 minus x2 okay and y3 equal to lambda into x1 minus x3 minus y1 so this is how we can calculate the addition of two points okay so now come to the second cases so here r equal to p plus p and this case is also called point doubling uh, okay the first uh, the first case is called the point addition and the second case is called point doubling okay so the value of uh, x3 and y3 can be calculated by using uh, this expression as you can see this expression so for p plus p if we assume that the points p and q are on the same then you have a tangent passing the single point p 
then it will insert intercept the elliptic curve at one more point that is minus r and if i find the points by taking its mirror image about horizontal line then this point is r which is equal to p plus p okay and this is also called point doubling which i already said and here we have an expression about uh, point uh, to calculate the r point as you can see lambda equal to 3x1 square plus a divided by 2 into y1 and x3 equal to lambda square minus x1 minus x2 and y3 equal to lambda into x1 minus x3 and minus y1 okay so these are the expression to calculate the value uh, to calculate <coughs> the two points p plus p the addition of two points p plus p now come to the third case so here the two points are additive inverse of each other p and minus p so here as you can see the first point p uh, is a, has the coordinates x1 and y1 and minus p its coordinates is uh, p uh, x1 minus y1 which is additive inverse of p okay so the line connecting two points does not intercepting the curve at a third point actually it is believed that the intercepting point is at infinity they define this with zero uh, defined with this o or uh, is a point of infinity or zero point okay so this is uh, these are the three adding cases in elliptic curve so let's move on to the next slide so here as you can see finding an inverse okay so in this slide we will discuss about how we can find the inverse of a point okay so here as you can see the inverse of a point x y is x minus y where minus y is the additive inverse of y okay so for example if p equal to 13 which is modulus actually modulus is given 13 and the inverse of 4 2 is 4 11 okay so here uh, 4 2 is given that is uh, x equal to 4 and y equal to 2 so its uh, inverse of point will be 4 minus 2 so now we need to calculate the additive inverse of 2 so there is a simple formula through which we can calculate the additive inverse of y points that is p minus y mod p okay so the value of p is given 13 minus y that is 2 so 13 minus 2 is 11 mod 13 i mean mod p so mod 13 so we get the value 11 so this is how we can calculate the inverse of a point so the inverse of 4 comma 2 is actually 4 11 okay so okay coming to the next slide this is one example so here as you can see let us add two points in elliptic curve 1 1 so here the point 1 1 is given which is equal to a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 okay this is actually coefficient is given a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 and here 13 is the modulus okay so r equal to p plus q where p equal to 4 comma 2 and q equal to 10 comma 6 so here two points is given p equal to 4 uh, 4 comma 2 and q equal to 10.6 so now we need to calculate the another point third points r which is equal to p plus q okay so this is simple point addition which i, I have already discussed about uh, its equation okay so here we first we need to calculate the slope uh, from by using this formula addition of two points lambda equal to uh, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so here 6 minus 2 by 10 minus 4 okay so <clears throat> mod 13 which is equal to 5 okay 5 mod 13 so so the slope is 5 here now we uh, calculate the third uh, coordinates of r which is x equal to by using that formula lambda square minus x1 minus x2 and overall mod p so here uh, as you can see 5 square uh, slope is 5 is given so 5 square minus 4 minus 10 and mod 13 so it is 11 mod 13 okay 
and similarly y form by using y's formula that is y3 equal to lambda into x1 minus x3 minus y1 so here also 5 into 4 minus 11 minus 2 mod 13 which is equal to 2 mod 13 so this is how we calculate the coordinates of r x and y which is 11 and 2 which is the point on the curve electric curve okay so now this is your task how you can find uh, here the point is given uh, electric curve 23 modulus and a given a value is 1 and b equal to 1 so and the two points is given p equal to 3 comma 10 and q equal to 9 comma 7 so now you can you need to calculate p plus q and point doubling two twice p okay that is p plus p so this is your home task so this is simple by simple by using uh, this formula you can easily calculate okay so that's it all about elliptic curves cryptography